Welcome back everyone. We're gonna start this out taking a look at our observed highs for the day. So we saw highs in the 30s and 40s, saw high of 42 for Dickinson and high of 38 for Bismarck. Now our temperatures right now, still not looking too bad. We got temperatures in the 30s, it's 35 in Bismarck and it's 35 in Garrison as well. And if we take a look at those wind chills, we do have some wind chills down into the 20s. So just a little bit cooler, feels like 28 for Bismarck and feels like 25 in Hedinger. And if we take a look at our visibility, very foggy night and we've had lots of foggy days the last couple of days. Bismarck is down to one mile of visibility. Dickinson is down to zero miles. Watford City is down to three. So if you're out on the roads tonight, make sure that you're leaving a little bit of extra space and going just a little bit slower. Take it slow, be careful out there. And here's a look at our weather alerts. We do have a dense fog advisory until tomorrow around noon for quite a bit of the state here. That is for visibilities less than one quarter mile or less there. So like I said, we're gonna be waking up to a foggy morning as well. So if we take a look at our fog forecast as we're heading into Sunday morning, gonna be waking up to visibilities maybe down to three, two miles here and there. Now that should start to clear up as we head into the afternoon, might be lingering here and there, but for the most part should start to clear up as we head into the afternoon. And if we take a look at our winds right now, winds are anywhere from five to let's go 15 miles an hour here out of the southeast. And if we take a look at our satellite and radar, we've got some cloudy skies. We got a little bit of rain just off to our west and eastern Montana. It looks like it's mostly moved out at the moment. And we have been seeing quite a bit of patchy drizzle here and there. Now, that's not really gonna show up on our satellite and radar, but especially where it's foggy, if you head out and it's drizzling a little bit, don't be surprised and that'll continue as we head into tomorrow morning as well, that light patchy drizzle here and there. So if we take a look at precision cast, as we head into the morning, gonna be seeing a couple of those scattered showers here and there, mainly in the west is where we're gonna be seeing some light rain. Otherwise, like I said, that drizzle. And then as we continue throughout Sunday into Sunday night, we're seeing some rain showers up to the northwest. Like I said, it's mainly staying in the west, but can't count out a couple of few little light drizzle here and there for the rest of the state as well. Then as we head into Monday, gonna be waking up to quite a bit of clouds, but should be staying pretty dry on Monday. Could see just a few light showers in the overnight hours. And then as we head into Tuesday, we're looking pretty dry as well until we hit the nighttime. And then that is when we're starting to see some rain and some wintry mix. It's gonna start out as rain. It's gonna change into snow as we continue into Wednesday. So we're looking at some snow chances on Wednesday into Thursday. Now I'm not looking at a whole lot of snow with this, but of course the KX Storm team will be keeping an eye on it. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you stay tuned as we get closer to Wednesday, Thursday. Your Dickinson five day forecast here. We got 50 on Monday and Tuesday, and then by Thursday, we're down to 37. Willison's five day forecast here. We are still seeing those above average temperatures, even though we are going back down to the 30s, my not seven day forecast. We are ending at 30 for Saturday, but we got a 50 on Monday and Bismarck seven day forecast. We do have those chances for some rain and some snow. Mm -mm. But I am here for those above average temperatures still. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to ignore the snow. Yep, me too. It doesn't <laughs> exist if I don't let it, you know? You know, I, I agree, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, Carolyn. Coming up next, we have sports. We have highlights from a loaded day of sports, including the final.